This is a story about an ordinary teddy bear. When he was made, they found something wrong with him and threw him away like a piece of rubbish into an old dark storeroom. Then, from outer space, a spotty man brought him to life with his cosmic dust. He took him to a magic cloud where Mother Nature gave him special powers. That bear became Super Ted. For centuries, men and women have tried to tell fortunes by peering into a crystal ball or sometimes, through the swirling mists of time itself, they can glimpse the distorted secrets of the future. <laughs> okay, lady, hand over that ball. Noise. It's enough to shake up my stuffing. Spotty, wake up. Oh, oh come on, wake up. Ah, oh, I know. <coughs> oh, oh, a meteorite storm. <coughs> it's a boy. Of course I'm a boy. I've been waiting ages for you to wake up, Super Deb. I need your help. An evil cowboy has stolen my sister's crystal ball. Come on, Spotty. Put on your rocket pack. What? What do you mean? But we can't go out in the meteorite storm. I'll say my secret magic word. One hundred and four, and five, and six. hundred and fourteen, hundred and fifteen, hundred and twenty-two, hundred and twenty-three, hundred and ninety-nine, uh, two hundred. And that's just the beginning. I knew that crystal ball would make us a fortune. Can it really tell the future, Tex? Sure it can. Oh, tell her fortune, Tex. Go on, be a devil. Sure I will. But first, I have to cross my palm with gold. Oh, Tex, you're so mean and evil. Now, concentrate. Gaze into the ball. Oh, what's that? What's going on? They say there's an evil man in this wood taking people's money and telling them horrible fortunes. That sounds like Tex. Super Ted. Yes, buddy? I, I don't like it here. I'm really it's so eerie. And creepy. Yeah, and gruesome. And... What's the matter? The owl! It's an evil omen! What's an omen? It's a sign that something nasty is going to happen. When the tawny owl hoots thrice... It makes a sound that's not so nice. Oh, come on, Super Ted, let's go back. No, Spotty, don't be silly. <coughs> the ravens! A portent of wickedness! Two black ravens overhead. Means it's time to go to bed. Oh, I don't like this, Super Ted. Spotty. It can't be far now. Oh, I'm frightened, Super Ted. Don't worry, I'm here. But you're frightened too. Ah, what was that? <laughs> Nothing to worry about. It's just my tummy rumbling. <gasps> Spotty, come back. They're only cobwebs shimmering in the moonlight. I'm sorry, Super Ted. I'm not going a step further. Maybe, Grizzly, it may be grim. The bear who isn't brave just isn't a bear. Ah! Come in. Come in. My, it's a teddy bear. <laughs> How adorable. Yuck. Come and sit down and I'll tell your fortune. 
Nothing to worry about. It's quiet, painless. <laughs> Gaze into the bowl. Look through the swirling mists of time. I can see you flying through the sky towards a magic cloud. There's a woman there. She is angry with you. You have broken the laws of nature. She feeds you a potion. It seeps into your body, slowly draining away your life. Pulsating prune, so that's it. Oh, no, you don't. I gotcha. <laughs> Missed. Oh, Bow, you idiot. Ah, thought you could fool me, did you, Tex? Um, <laughs> you, you, you. <laughs> Oh, 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 They've got super dead. Oh, no. It's that flying dose of chicken pox. Close your eyes. Maybe you'll go away. <laughs> Pull up a chair, Tex. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> this is one time you're going to have to take a back seat. Uh, I'm not going to take back sitting down, Texas people. I'm not finished yet, super dead. Neither am I. Oh, Tex. What? You were so right. It is raining gold. I'm sorry we didn't get your crystal ball back. Well, at least we stopped Texas Pete telling such miserable fortunes. Um, thank you, Super Ted. Bye-bye. Um, yeah. Thank you, Super Ted. Oh. oh, I'll be glad to get out of this wood. It's so spooky. Super Ted! Super Ted! 